What's good, bu -bu -bu boys? It's me, a Daily Productions here, and we are back in Total Tank Simulator: The French Campaign. We are a lieutenant currently, and we are playing this. Um, we just defended here successfully as the Germans skirt uh, through Belgium across the Maginot Line, uh, well, around the Maginot Line, and uh, it's looking bad for France. We're on a tactical retreat here, boys. Uh, so now we're doing the Battle of Lille. Seems like there's a lot of aircraft, a lot of tanks, not a lot of infantry, prime Blitzkrieg material here, fellas, but a stiff prize if we win, and a large cash limit to start off with, so this is probably going to be tough. All right, boys, here we are. Um, oh, no. This is looking like a wave defense battle. Shoot, I, I did not read up on that. Okay, wave mission. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. No wonder, no wonder it was like you gotta, you gotta, um, you know, you're gonna get such a big reward and you gotta spend so much to win this. Oh my God, shoot, shoot. All right, we're defending this town. That's the idea, that's the idea here. Luckily, we're the French. We have bunkers um, to start off with. Other factions don't really get that um, in the campaign, so this is actually kind of a kind of a good thing. How do we how how do we rotate? How do we rotate? Um, let's see. One second. I'll be right back. I gotta search how to rotate. All right, guys. It's comma and period, which is the most random thing ever. But okay, um, we'll use comma and period to rotate. We're gonna. Toss two bunkers there. We're just going to fortify the crud out of this town, dudes. That's the game plan. Um, the real problem is that they have aircraft, and we don't have anti-aircraft capabilities currently, which is something we really need to invest in because the Germans, of course, are known for their Luftwaffe, and they can just tear us apart um, if they have air superiority. So... This could be really, really bad for us. Um, yeah, we're going to invest in artillery. We're going to invest in um, AT guns, stuff like that, because it's really cheap as the French, and it's really good as the French, too. Um, man, uh, okay, maybe some pillboxes as well. Pillbox bunkers instead of just full-on bunkers. A couple of those around here to deal with any infantry that comes our way. That's what I'm thinking, boys. That's what I'm thinking. We're not going to mess with mines, I don't think. Ooh, nest bunker. That could be good. Maybe those machine guns can fire upwards at the German Luftwaffe. I don't know. Um, it's like... The problem is they have a lot of Luftwaffe. We can get planes, and they're... Actually, they're fairly cheap. Hopefully, it's just the first round is, is when the Luftwaffe will be present. So, we'll get just four planes. Because, okay, the planes are cheap. Hear me out. The planes are cheap, but they'll run out of fuel. So that's the problem. That's why we don't want planes in, in wave defense. But, like, we got nothing else to deal with them but planes. We, we kind of have to. Um, on top of all that, we will be getting some tanks in here. Um, we'll also get some kamikaze tanks. Why not? Because uh, tanks are tanks are pretty valuable. You know, we can't go full bunkers. We, we do need some tanks. We need some infantry, too. Because um, infantry can last a really long time in these types of battles, and they can hide uh, in the buildings, and they can be a, sort of a last-ditch effort to to get kills. So we'll get infantry as well across here. We'll, of course, get Pablo Morel, our uh, French officer, and then um, I, I guess we'll spend the rest on bunkers. We, we need to use all of our money, to be completely honest, um, because we're probably going to need it, you know? We're, we're probably going to need it if we want to win. Okay, um, we got 50 more, so we can get five more infantry. That's our defense. Boom. That's it, boys. The Battle of Lille is starting now. Okay, we're toggling uh, slow-mo. We'll go into half speed because these battles go so flippin' fast, dude. Okay. Oh, look at this. Ooh, yeah, baby. I, I like the look of French tanks. They're so derpy, but they, they look fun. They're just fun. Oh, my God, they have... Oh, God. They have, um, what are those called? Panzerwerfers! Panzerwerfers. That's not a good thing, of course. A very, very bad thing. Look at that screenshot. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just taking this moment to get some cool screenshots of all the, the French defenses here, because it looks sick. Okay, we do have, uh, some aerial combat. Looks like our, uh, French, uh, Levion 
are taking care of the Luftwaffe. So very good. Actually, they've kind of got the Luftwaffe on the run, which is awesome. Um, that's exactly what we want here because obviously we, uh, we can't really defend against those planes. So if we can knock those planes out ASAP Rocky style, we will be in business here. All right. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> are you popping a squat on top of the hood? <laughs> what? Boys, the game crashed. God dang it. Okay. Uh, well, it did just get released, so that's understandable. But I, I tried to set us up back uh, to what we were at uh, previously. Um, we'll go in slow-mo again here. Um, actually, no, no, no. We'll go into no, no slow-mo for just a second here. Um, and then uh, once once the battle gets underway, we'll sort of go back into slow-mo, I think. Um, just because it's more fun, I think, in my opinion, to experience this game in, in slow-mo. Um, everything happens so fast, and you just miss everything if you don't, basically. It's a very fast-paced game. Each level, if you don't do slow-mo, lasts two minutes, and I, I like to see it all. Okay, so we're sort of back in the game here. Uh, looks like everything's sort of firing out right now. Uh, we do have artillery making some rounds happen. Beautiful. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. I wonder if it was the tank sitters who crashed the game? I, I really don't know who crashed the game. Uh, it could have just been a fluke thing, um, which is fine, you know? We're back! No harm, no foul. Who cares? Uh, the German Panzers are actually backing off almost immediately. Um, it seems like our defenses are holding out. I hope our our troops don't go too far out of the range, though, you know? Um, I, I don't want them over, you know, exacerbating themselves quite yet uh, for fear that our uh, bunker defenses will be left alone and all the tanks will be pulled into a trap, sort of. But it does seem like our uh, French Air Force has uh, destroyed the Luftwaffe, so now they are actually focusing in on uh, ground tanks here, which is pretty baller. That's what we like to see. Yeah, buddy, look at this strafing run. Wow, we killed the uh, the Luftwaffe big time. Big time. They got smacked, yo. Nice job. Okay. French infantry is moving out a little bit. I mean, we seem to be doing actually pretty okay. Things aren't too bad, all, all things considered, you know? This ain't, this ain't terrible! This ain't terrible! Okay, this... Yeah, that, that's dead. That's dead. Ooh, look at this. This looks cool. Heck yeah, boys. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's a cool screenshot right there. Come on! Forget about it. That's... Oh, that looks sick. Okay. Um, I think we could probably go into normal speed now. And let's see the... Okay, we're still on wave one. Um, we have taken some actually significant losses, but the Germans are almost done with late wave one, which is great. Um, so hopefully they continue to take losses. Oh, I thought we crashed again. I was like, no, 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 no. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Oh my god, the Luftwaffe's back. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that our, um fighter squadron can can manage to take out the Luftwaffe fast again. It looks like the Luftwaffe do have a dive bomber this time. That's not a great thing. There's also more uh, German tanks um, and more German infantry. So they basically got a revamp of everything. Uh, but our force is still pretty strong. They seem to be hiding out in a lot of these buildings here. All right, guys. So apparently there's just something in this mission that just crashes the game. I, I don't know what it is, but we're going to reject the mission. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll lose the battle. That's fine. The Battle of Lille, we lost. We're going to move backwards, move our defensive line back, and hopefully these battles don't result in crashes. I don't know why that one does. It sucks, man. Okay, this is has this one has a lot of Luftwaffe. Maybe we should do this one first with less Luftwaffe. Oh, this is Protect VIP. Let's do this one first. Um, and then... With the cash we get from this, we should probably spend money on getting anti-aircraft guns for the French. Um, I think that's going to be very important, especially because the French are so defensive, and that's basically a defensive weapon. Um, so it, it just makes sense, you know? Well, this is the Forest Crossroads map. I love, love the French countryside maps in this game. They are gorgeous. Those in the desert maps, ooh. The, um, the winter maps tend to be a little eh for me. Uh, they're super bright, so they resulted, like, kind of straining your eyes a little bit, and everything's so whitewashed, like, everything is white, so you can't really see anything. Like, the objects don't get super distinct in those style maps. And also, the autumn maps, they are so saturated. It's kind of gross how saturated they are, I don't love it. 
Okay, here we go. So, we got three different VIPs. We have a tortoise tank. Tortoise. Okay. Okay, we just need to keep one alive. That's fair. Can we move these at all? I don't think we can. What kind of factory is this? Tank factory. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean... We should probably bunker it up, right? Hopefully this battle doesn't actually crash. Yeah, we're going to get tons and tons of bunkers. They're cheap for the French. They're powerful for the French. Franchi Franche. All right, so that's enough bunkers probably. We'll also get mines going um, because there's going to be so many German tanks crossing over that um, minefields are just like a win, win for us. Like, why not? Why not? Um, and then on top of that, we should probably get some tank forces. Um, obviously, we have the tank factory, but... Having some more tanks for ourselves is, is probably a good idea. Okay, we can't spawn any more tanks. Um, this VIP is going to be tough to guard because I have a feeling the Luftwaffe is probably just going to go straight for him. Let's, oh, we can't spawn any more units? So we have to delete tanks? We can't even spawn infantry? What the heck is that? What? How come the unit limit is so small? Do the mines take up a lot of units, I wonder? Let's delete some of those. That might help. Yeah, that seems to help. Okay. Well, while we still have units to spend, I say we actually, we combat the Luftwaffe pretty hardcore. I say we get a lot of French pilots because the, the problem is that if the Luftwaffe does just sort of swoosh on down and start hitting us, we're done for, you know? Um, we, like, the VIPs can be just insta-targeted. That's how we used to win those. Like, when we did the German campaign and the Russian campaign, we won these basically by just straight up dive bombing the VIPs. Um, so... We, we just need to counter that from happening to us ourselves. And uh, the way to do that is probably by doing that. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit more money we can spend on a few more infantry. That's our setup right now. Let's start the battle. Hope, hope it does not crash. Um, I swear to goodness, if it, if it crashes, I will be so disappointed. All right. I want to get to some planes. I want some plane action here, boys. That's what I'd like to see. Okay, so the Luftwaffe is kind of coming down at us here. There is the tortoise tank very heavy um, destroyer so that's kind of exciting to have that artillery piece just fired into a hill oh the French <laughs> oh the French here comes one of our uh, planes it looks like our squadron is sort of acting together um, they seem to be dealing with the Luftwaffe okay but the Luftwaffe seem to be focusing on our ground units and not our own tanks I, or our own planes I was hoping they would uh, focus on our planes and get distracted by them but that doesn't seem to be the case um, wow, the Germans have a very, very wide variety of, of weapons and tanks and cars so early in the war. It's kind of surprising, to be completely honest, like, how diverse their stuff is. Oh, God, they got some of those pens of us. Ugh. Yeah, they're, they have a wide variety of stuff. That's kind of crazy how much, um, stuff they actually have. All right, let's look at this. Their, their major tank assault is coming through this way. Where are our minefields? Did they hit those? Oh, it looks like it's right there. It might have hit some of their tanks. Yeah, yeah. I think our mines did some work. Yeah, that tank got taken out by mines. Okay, the mines the mines are okay. Some of the tanks are just sort of skirting around. The mines don't appear to be a one-shot kill. That would be kind of cheap if they were, to be honest. That would uh, be pretty stupid. But it does do a chunk of damage. Yeah, it does a pretty decent chunk. So, um, you know, I'm not too mad about that. How are our tank production coming along? Good, good. Keep producing those tanks. That's very good for us. Um, oh, a lot of our defensive line here is getting roasted. Their tanks are just so powerful, man. Really, really powerful. Do we control the skies yet? We're getting there. We're getting there. Actually, we might completely. Yes! Look at the, the French Air Force working in conjunction with each other. Maybe I spent a little too much on, on Air Force. Maybe it wasn't completely necessary. Yeah, I'd actually like to... Um, as an infantry we, we picked the one infantryman who is like completely getting toppled right now so that's good <laughs> great dude great okay this is this is not great okay ah ah okay heal me thank you i'm in the worst spot ever grenade come on just oh the french suck man ah <laughs> there okay there's a lot of tanks there's a lot of tanks all right there's our vip right there protect him hey stop trying to shoot us is there a bullet drop in this? 
there is. Look at these snipers out here, man. I don't have... I think those are legitimate snipers, and I don't have the materials to sort of take them on. Oh, God. Protect the VIP. Come on, fellas. Come on. Look at all of them. Oh, my God. They're all on the rooftops. At least they're not really hitting us either. Oh, we destroyed him. It was a sniper. We outsniped the sniper, yo. All right, I'm charging these guys. VIP, stay behind me. Going after these snipers, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, there were so many. Okay. Oh, there was a mine. I got killed by a mine? I didn't know mines could actually hurt the infantry, too. Wow, they have a lot of um, artillery. Ooh, Wespies as well. All right. Well, hopefully our Frenchy boys can take down those. All right. Yeah, maybe our maybe our planes can deal with those. Um, seems like most of the planes are running out of fuel now, which is not great. But uh, there's only a matter of time here before this battle ends anyway, so I think we should be okay um, at the end of it. I hope. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. There's a lot of infantry, too, for the Germans. But I think we got this. I think we got this. We have quite the tank armada currently. Ooh, there goes our planes. Yep, they're crashing. They're out of fuel right now. Man, the one nerf for the planes that really, really does you in. Planes are so powerful until they run out of fuel. I mean, obviously, because they're useless at that point, but they are obscenely powerful. It is truly the one nerf for them. Um, even anti-plane stuff is not super powerful. All right, well, we did it. Yes, and we didn't crash. Woo! All right, I guess it was worth it to skip the other one because it wasn't going to work anyway, so, like, I don't think there was any way we could play that mission, but... um. You know, I am glad we won that. Beautiful. Another little check mark there. Um, and, you know, let's do the tech tree stuff in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.